let's talk about plug power let's go to the monthly chart and you can see over the last 12 months the stock is down 78 percent and in the last three years the stock is down 87 percent however the monthly chart suggests go just to go long right now technically what about the fundamentals let's get into it before we continue with the analysis um, so those who believe plug power's best days lie before them uh, for those undoubted optimists in fact the stocks current price tag might even seem like an excellent buying opportunity that's what it says technically on the monthly chart let's look at some important points that prospective investors might appreciate before choosing to plug this stock into their portfolio so when they announced their third quarter earnings uh, it, it really spooked investors company expects to generate operating losses uh, for the foreseeable future, they also mentioned that was a far cry from the 2021 investor presentation when the company forecast a 2025 operating income margin of more than 17%. Similarly, the company had an equally robust view of its future profitability. More recently, in a 2023 investor presentation, they targeted 2026 and 2030 operating income margins of 17 and 20% respectively. Even more alarming. In the Q3 2023 report, management states that current circumstances raises substantial doubt about the company's ability to continue as a going concern, and that's what dropped the price crazy. In other words, management isn't confident the company can continue to meet its financial obligations, something few prospective investors want to read. And so they said that they may run out of money within the next 12 months. It wasn't too long ago when the analysts expected big things from Plug Power. This past July, two analysts had a price target of $22 and $9. Before that, in June 2022, one analyst uh, even set a $40 price target. Crazy, crazy stuff. But recently, a city analyst downgraded the stock to neutral, slashed its price target from 5 to from $12.50. Another analyst at UBS has a $5 price target though it reflects a steeper cut from the prior price target of $15.50. And it's at Wells Fargo and Morgan Stanley are even more circumspect, signing price targets in that $4 range. Okay, and that's where the monthly buyer's level sits right now. Now let's talk about the cash positions. Back in 2021, Plug Power was flushed with cash, roughly $2 billion. And today, they sit at roughly 567 million all right so those are the fundamentals this is the weekly chart and we can see that this is the crash that I was referring to when they announced their third quarter earnings however you can see price is basing that's a good sign meaning the momentum to the downside has subsided you actually see for the week price is green so again, very good sign. Um, I would say if one was to get in, you want to use that $6 level as a short-term target. Now let's go to the let's go to the daily chart. Let's take these lines off. So that big red extended range candle that we saw in the weekly chart that was a gap down on earnings so pretend there is a candle here but let's just put it in you have the formation of what I like to see for bullish reversals in a W pattern, double bottom, apex, right? So you have the foot buyers defending, we'll say the 325 level. So 
So if you believe in hydrogen technology longer term, if you believe in plug power, you know, now's not a bad time to I'll say dollar cost average. Very risky in that they can run out of money in the next twelve months. However, with interest rates waning, potentially being cut next year, maybe they could raise more capital. Um, but personally I would stay away from this stock. Um as I think there are better opportunities out there to risk your hard-earned capital. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.